Hello everybody. Now as I'm sure you're aware, I've been wanting to post this video for quite some time, but just have not been able to. So the first order of business is to say thank you, Too Old for Toys, to have chosen me as the winner of your contest over all the other great entries is very flattering. I never expected to win, and I'm very grateful. And thanks for just being such an awesome YouTube member all along, posting such great videos all the time, coming up with this contest idea to begin with, and now moving on to your whole second uh, giveaway thing, Lucky Draw Project. That's awesome. And I know I'm not alone in saying that you are the man. So thanks a lot, buddy. And of course, how could I not thank all my viewers? The last I checked, um, my channel has 45 subscribers and 17 friends. And my video has well over 1,200 views with nearing 70 comments. And it's rated 5 stars. All that in three weeks from one video. And that video being my very first. What, what can I say? You guys are awesome, so thanks a lot, everyone. And I suppose, while we're still sort of on the topic of that contest... Yep, this is the High Grade Double O Riser, <clears throat> the designer colors version. And I don't think you can see all the little details that are on this box with this camera that I'm using. But I'm telling you, it's awesome. There's so much detail in every little part. I mean, I've seen a lot of box art in my day, and this is one of the best. And hey, there's even kind of a funny story about how I received this guy. I go to the post office to pick it up, and I fill out all the stuff, and I look at the uh, delivery slip sheet pasted to the front of the box. And, well, I guess iShopToGo.com wanted to be humorous. Because instead of putting my real name on there, which I know they're aware of, they put my profile name. Yes, that means that delivered from Hong Kong to America, between who knows how many different people, this was shown as Crap Monkey 99's package. I can only imagine the looks on their faces. <laughs> so... When I heard the news that I had won, I went out special and I bought these. Tamiya Color Clear Paints. And of course it's clear red, and clear blue, and clear green. And I will try to use these to the best of my ability to make this special prize even better. Now, many of you have wanted me to make a video of this prize. Uh, my other models, reviews, and whatever. And I'd love to make videos of that, or even other things, too. But there are three major limiting factors I face when making and posting any of my videos. Reason number one is this camera. It's a digital camera and not a camcorder. So that means, while I can take good pictures, the movie mode on here is so simple that all I can do is zoom it to a point, uh, focus it up and record. And once it starts recording, everything locks up. You cannot adjust the zoom, and the camera cannot refocus on its own. See that? No, you can't. And that's the point. So that's not too good, but hey, a digital camera. Why not make slideshows or something like that? Well, that's reason number two. I have no movie editing software of any kind on my computer. But, if you guys know of any free movie editing software that you can download off of a safe, reputable website, and it has to be free, very, very important that, free, if it's free, I may be able to have a video of this, an unboxing video anyway, pretty soon. But even downloading certain things, and uploading videos, of course, is kind of a hassle for me. And that is because I'm stuck with dial-up. Crappy old dial-up. 
And that means uploading videos is pretty much out of the question for me, except that I was able to go over to someone else's house and use their computer to upload it on their high speed. And even with high speed, my first video took nearly an hour to upload. And that video was only like three and a half minutes long. I can't even begin to imagine how bad that would be on dial-up. I mean, I expect halfway through the computer would burst into flames or something. Yeah, so that's not too good, is it? And even watching videos on YouTube has its problems because let's say I'm trying to watch a four minute video, okay? On dial-up, it takes 40 minutes before I can get to a point where I can watch it all the way through without stopping. Ridiculous. So these are the kinds of things I really got to get around if I'm going to be making more videos more often and being a better YouTube member, I guess. And even my setup is not very conventional, which I will show you guys now. Were you expecting a tripod? Well, no. This is two model boxes stacked on top of each other and a no-slip grip pad that you use in your kitchen for things like opening up a stubborn jar of pickles. That's so the camera won't slide around. And down here we have some newspaper jammed under there so that instead of looking upwards and revealing my secret identity, you look down at the table because that's where the fun happens, right? You bet. And speaking of fun, I've been building some Gundam models this year. Big surprise there. And the first one I built this year is this guy. The High Grade Universal Century GPO2A. And this is from the Gundam 0083 series. And it's a very, very good show. Which I recommend any Gundam fan seeing at least once if they already haven't. Or rewatch it if you already have. <laughs> the next model I worked on this year is the high grade 1144th scale Enact demo color version. And this is from the uh, Gundam 00 line. And uh, the main thing I did with this kit is I modified the uh, cheap little plasma sword you get with this kit into the more appropriate sonic dagger weapon it actually uses in the first episode of the show. And I'm pretty pleased with it, considering it's uh, my very first real modification on a model. And my current project, the one I'm nearly finished with, is this guy. The High Grade Universal Century New Gundam. And, as I said, he's pretty much finished. The whole main body is assembled, as are most of its weapons. With exception to needing to put on the crest on the shoulder here and on the shield there. But additionally, for weapons, I still have four more of these fin funnel weapons to attach, or build, I mean. And they're kind of a pain to detail, because I paint them instead of using the stickers. I mean, I hate stickers. They're ugly. They come off easily if you're not applying them right and all that business. So when that's done, I will be done with New Gundam. And I will try to make some kind of video of this or start building this, actually, as soon as possible. One last note um, about my first video. Many people, especially from Singapore, have been saying they cannot find the black light I use or the paint I use in that video. I recommend looking on eBay. Search for fluorescent acrylic paint in the craft department and look for black light, all one word, in the home and garden department. And if you can't find them there, just do general searches for them on eBay. And I'm sure you're bound to come across someone who will sell those things to you wherever you live. And, I mean, that's a good thing about eBay, right? Anything from anyone from anywhere in the world. And so I hope that helps. And with that, I'm sure I'm running out of time. So to wrap up, I will say once again, thank you to Old for Toys and iShop2Go.com 
for delivering this marvelous prize and choosing me as the winner of your contest. And of course, thank you to my viewers and to YouTube in general. And with that, I will say, catch you later.